Hi everyone, welcome to our Health Matters. This is a channel where medical conditions are explained in simple English. We do not use medical jargons here. If this is your first time of tuning in, you are welcome. And please do not forget to subscribe, like and share at the end of this video. And also turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever we upload a new video. And to our returning subscribers, you are also welcome. Thank you for keeping us here. If not for you, we will not be here. Just a quick run through our disclaimer. Our videos are meant for health awareness only and not meant to replace any medical diagnosis or report. Always contact your medical doctor if and whenever you have a medical concern. Just say you know our information are not peer reviewed. So as you can see on the screen, our topic for today or what we're going to talk about today is about the different levels for healthcare services. And why did we decide to bring up this topic here now? Not quite long ago, we did a survey in, uh, in Nigeria to be precise in Edo State survey was carried out and we found that majority of people do not know the difference between these different classes of care and as a result of this ignorance it has led to the death of so many people because they do not know when to actually be at the hospital which is either the secondary or the tertiary level of healthcare. So today we're going to look at it and I will advise you make sure you share this information with everyone, your loved one, because it is very, very important. So let's ride on. This is just a disclaimer again, which I've explained. So we're moving on. So today, like I said, we're going to be looking at the different levels of our healthcare services that we have. One is or primary health care. So if you can see here, I said, what is a primary health care? What is a secondary health care? And what is a tertiary health care? So we're going to be explaining these different levels of health care. So you know, when next you have medical concern, you will know who to consult and what to do immediately. Now, a primary health care. What's a primary health care? A primary health care is the first point of call for everyone that has a medical concern, like a general care. Like uh, in, in, in a do state where we did uh, the survey, it is very common. You see a uh, faith hospital, capsule medical center, the other medical center, the other hospital, the other hospital, the other hospital. So people believe that they have it all there which is not, is very wrong. Like from where I am recording from, like here in the UK, yes, we have a primary health care. We have, we call them surgery. You go to your surgery, you, there at the surgery, you meet with a general practitioner, a general doctor. Not a, not, some of them can be specialists anyway, but it's a general doctor. So there, what they do, you talk to the doctors, oh, this is what, how I'm feeling, and this is it, I'm consigned in this area. The doctor will actually look at you. He can as well do some physical examination. That is by touching you to see what's going on. And the primary health care should be universally accessible to everyone like all those small, small hospitals, you know, those small hospitals around. Yes, just like a surgery in the UK, we have surgeries in a long street. You can even see up to five, six surgeries. So you go to the one that is nearest to you, where you can quickly get to, you see, that's the primary health care, it's a surgery. So that's what we see at clean, uh, as clinic, like in a door state, we see it as clinic or health center. But the, because most people just put hospital, yes, they call it hospital. Though I know with the settings in Nigeria, some hospitals operate privately. Yes, we know, but I'm going to let you know something about those ones. And again, in primary healthcare, the individuals or the patients that are involved, 
they have the right, not the right, they must, they have to, is their, is their entitlement. They have to be part of the decision making consigning their care. And in primary health care shouldn't be too expensive. It should be very, very affordable. So let's move on and see where we're going. Now, more about primary health care. In primary health care, your doctor, the general practitioner, should be able to tell you, this is what we've seen and this is the diagnosis. What is the problem? Because I've seen so many patients, they said, oh, I am diabetic. Yes, you are diabetic. What type of diabetes do you have? Is it type 1? Is it type 2? Is it gestational? Is it uh, moldy? What type of diabetes? They don't know if they have type 1 or type 2. Most people don't know. The survey we did showed the result. Most people don't know because there is no medical awareness. There's no 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 awareness. Health awareness is not really there. So we are trying through this media to bring health awareness to people. And this is one of the reasons you must share this video and let people know about it. And then another thing again is after the diagnosis what is the management plan in them what i mean by management plan okay now we know this problem is there how are we going to cure it or how are we going to treat it or how are you going to manage it these are things you should know and then what kind of medication is he going to put you on okay now he will tell you i'm going to put you on this medication are this medication what with this medication you're going to put me on what are the side effects if there is any because some medications don't have them most medication have side effects and then another thing you're going to ask how long am i going to be on this medication don't forget we are still on the primary health care now at the primary health care services so we are still on the primary level so how long am i going to be on this medication do my medication need a regular monitoring? Yes, I just released a video yesterday which talks about high risk drugs. So, this medication does it need monitoring? What do I mean by this? There are some medications when you are taking it, they need to actually monitor your monitor how it is doing in your body by looking at your blood and how the the the, the concentration of that drug, if any there is in your blood they need to monitor it otherwise giving you too much will affect you and again with this diagnosis do i need the attention of a secondary healthcare provider so this is where we find from our survey that many people are very ignorant when they tell them this is what they are having they don't know okay who is going to care for me who is really the the qualified doctor because let me tell you a general practitioner is different from a specialist, which I'm going to explain to you on the uh, upcoming slide. So stay tuned and keep watching. Now, what primary healthcare service user must know, like I said, your diagnosis or the management plan and whatever, but on the image on the right hand side, this image tells you about people who are involved in primary healthcare. One, your family physician that's the general doctor now general i did not mean i said general note that down and then your health care officers these are people who are trained in health education they know it they can give you awareness and then we have midwives they are able to go to the uh, to pregnant women even manage them in their own home the registered nurses they can manage you in your own home then we have community pharmacies because there are different class of pharmacists and then we have social workers we have health promoters these health promoters fall again under those who did or uh, public health they will tell you more about what is going on now there is this aspect this one is very important these many people in in Edo state where we did a survey they don't know much about this majority of them don't know and almost everyone they always kind of push this aside and i want to bring to your awareness there is no doctor that can really treat you properly 100 percent treat you properly without looking at your blood without carrying out 
examination no just by him looking at you face to face and say go and take paracetamol is not enough if you say i have leg pain oh i have a knee pain don't assume it's arthritis they need to check your blood they know they need to look at your erythrocyte sedimentation risk sorry i said i'm not going to use jargon they need to that's the name esr they need to know the level in your blood they need to know the level of your c-reactive protein they need to look at so many things in your blood and the only people that can look at them are those lab scientists they are they are scientists they look into blood so you just seeing the doctor at his office is not enough it's not enough to diagnose you oh your blood sugar is high yes you are diabetic no it's not enough you need to actually go and do further examination they want to look at your OGTT they want to look at your HbA1c and then they will know is it type 1 or is it type 2 like we had a patient we were treating him he was taking med for me it wasn't enough they said oh, whenever i go to the hospital they will just give me one injection my sugar will just go down then i asked him what type of diabetes do you have he doesn't know so these are things people need to know and that is why we are bringing this awareness and this is why you must share this video now let's go into secondary health care what is secondary health care a secondary health care or a tertiary health care they treat more severe conditions that require specialized knowledge and more intensive health monitoring i want you to underline that health monitoring in secondary health care it is not just to use and palpate your body touch and say that is it no they need more they need more they do examination to say yes this is what you are having that's what is being done. And in most cases, you need an ambulance sometimes to get to a primary health care. Uh, I mean, sorry, to a secondary health care. That's to the major hospital. Like, for example, in Benin, UBTH, uh, those specialist hospital. These are secondary health care. Not when you have headache, you are going to a uh, those specialist hospital. It's wasting of time, your time and the health care provider's time. So you don't do that. So you take your headache, take it to the primary health care and then the primary health care will refer you to the secondary or to the tertiary health care now who are those involved in secondary or tertiary health care the people who are mainly involved there one the cardiologist two dentist neurologist the obng nephrologist clinical pharmacist I did not say community now. I said clinical pharmacist, optometrist or ophthalmologist. And then again, we have specialist nurses. These are people that you mainly find in secondary healthcare. So who are you dealing with? Why we found that so many people die in uh, Africa is that this cardiologist you can't expect to see a cardiologist in a small clinic on the roadside no excepting if the cardiologist is operating privately and he will say okay i will see you in the evening and in most cases they are very very expensive so please note these people down for you to see a cardiologist outside the hospital is very expensive that is why when you are being managed in a primary health care and they see you need the services of a cardiologist they will refer you to places like ubth or a those specialist hospital sorry i am using example with my own state because that's where i am from and that's where i did my survey now I, uh, we've almost come to the end of the slide because I don't want to take too much of your time. I'll put up a quiz here and we want, we're going to have a winner. This quiz, I uh, actually uh, observed this problem with so many people and I decided to do more, to, to do more research into it. If you have watched this video and you know you want to win a prize from us, we want you to answer these three questions. Sorry, I didn't put one in the first one. The first one says, who is an optometrist and what do they do? Who is an optician and what do they do? And the third question is, who is an ophthalmologist and what do they do? 
and for you to gain more and win more prizes for us, we want you to actually write a little bit more about them. Tell us the kind of education they have. Because you know why? Some people will have, um, they have vision problem and they will be saying, oh, I want an ophthalmologist to look at it. There is a difference between an ophthalmologist and an optometrist. So I want to leave you with this quiz today. Go and check, check it out. Make sure you look into it and then send your answers to health awareness 2019 at gmail.com. And if you know you want to send it by WhatsApp, you will see a WhatsApp at the end of this uh, video. So that's it for today. And we, I'll see you next week. Yes, we are stopping here. Like I said, we'll see you next weekend. All our videos are published every weekend. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share. And our number will be on the description box below. Thank you. Bye.